Hi students, I welcome you all to online IP classes. In the last tutorial, we have discussed about how to transfer data between, how to transfer data from CSV file to a data frame object. Now in this tutorial, we will discuss how to transfer the data, how to store the data of data frames to a CSV file. And for that purpose, we know that for storing the data to a data frame object, we need df dot to underscore csv method of python library. So, let us begin with the practical implementation of it, how we are going to store data frame to a csv file. For that, we again open uh, spider IDE and start writing a coding for the same. First of all, First of all, we will create a data frame object and then that particular data frame object, the data of that particular data frame object, we will transfer that and store that into a CSV file. First, let us create a um, data, frame ob data frame object and save a data in this data frame object. We will import pandas as pt. Then for creating a data frame object, we will for using a dictionary. We will use a dictionary for creating a data frame object. In the first dictionary, let us use the list of the toppers, roll number, and name Rahul Marcus 10, another uh, topper B. If these are the dictionaries. We will create a data frame using a data dictionary. Then third, let me take the four entries in it. We have created the dictionaries for dictionary. Now we will create a list of these dictionaries and assign into a data frame object. And we will create a simple data frame, pd.data frame. This is how we are going to create a data frame object. Toppers. Toppers. And let me print it first. This is a data frame object that we we have created. Let us see what we have created. We will run it. This is this is a data frame, pure data frame, having marks, na name, roll number as column headings, and these marks, name, roll number, and the entries like this. There are the four four columns, four rows in it, and and one heading row as well that's marks name and roll number now we will um, with the help of two underscore csv file we are going to store this data frame object to a csv file so let us use two dot csv file this is a top dot top df that is this data frame object and the data of this data frame object we are going to store into a CSV file and for storing the data to a CSV file we use to dot to underscore CSV and now we will specify the path of the file and we will create a new file here only. For example, I want in the drive F in the subfolder python underscore spider and uh, the name of the newly created file should be toppers underscore csv if there is already if there will be already a toppers or csv file in the python underscore spider library in the uh, folder sorry then this that particular uh, toppers or csv file will get overwritten so the newly created file should be there toppers dot csv so we will save it it's just a simple line the, uh, this object name, data frame object name, in which there is a data and where we want to store it, we want to store it in a toppers.csv file, this is a newly created file, a new file will get created there and this is to underscore csv with the method for storing the data, when we will save it, we will run it, this is the data, now let us open f drive 
and the app drive we will open spider folder there should be top over start. yes here the top over start csv file it gets automatically created this is a data in this top over start csv file right there are the various arguments of to underscore csv method as well for example, one argument is uh, the separator. The separator between the different data elements of the CSV file, the separator I want to use instead of comma, I want to use um, the separator as this symbol. Right. I want to use the separator as this symbol, then we save it, we we'll run it. Let us see the output file, the first file. The different data elements are now separated by this symbol right similarly there is another argument of this method that of this method that is to underscore csp if there are null values if there are any n values if there are any a n values in our data frame file right now there is no data uh, any n value in our csv file uh, in our data frame object if there will be any csv uh, if there in data frame if there will be any any n value missing value for that purpose write n a underscore r e p in csv file the any n values there will be an empty space empty string nothing will be there but i have in a, uh, instead of empty string i want to uh, show some text over there for example i want to show the text as n u l l none then uh, if there will be uh, any n value in a D, uh, data frame object and when this data frame object gets converted stored in, uh, in the csv file in place of any n values empty string will be there but i want that instead of an empty string there will be something uh, some message will be there some string will be there for specifying that particular message for specifying that particular string for specifying a null value there's an Augment plus of a to underscore csv file known as n a underscore r e p rep. Right? This is the complete how data is stored to a csv file. In the last tutorial, we discussed about how csv files data get uh, stored in the df object. And in this tutorial, we discuss how df objects, data frames objects, uh, data is stored in a csv file. Hope you have understood both the tutorials, the practical version of both the tutorials. Thank you.